Assalamualaikum and good day everyone Okay, welcome back to my channel So, for today SM654 on this uh, data warehousing We continue on topic 1.3 on trends in data warehouse But before that, if you open your notes uh, from my Google uh, Classroom here I noticed that there are some pages is blank Okay, like this one, query tools And data integration, analysis, analytic or oh, anal analytics, sorry The last one is on the data warehouse 2.0 So, so analytics here as you can see uh, Got some pages sebenarnya There are I think maybe my internet connection Even data 2.0 also got some of this uh, Writing So I just use uh, my PowerPoint slide here lah So better you try to download I'm not sure if my, my internet connection got a problem here But I have refreshed a few times But still It's not come up in this uh, Google PowerPoint punya Classroom Applications Okay Alright back to this chapter Okay Are you ready? So Trends in the data warehouse Okay this about I can say this about uh, More about this um, Definitions Sorry um, Okay uh, Topic outline Review the continued growth uh, In data warehousing uh, As long Learn how Data warehousing has become a mainstream Okay, and discuss several major trends One by one Okay, this one, this part yang Take the most chunk of this uh, Topic 1.3 Okay, and then grabs the need of standard and review The progress and understand web enabled data warehouse Okay, the, uh, why the data warehouse is uh, becoming a mainstream nowadays Because these four significant factor um, number one is a fierce competition Because a lot of companies sell the same thing uh, Offer the same products or services So they want to have this uh, competitive advantage uh, Compared to their competitors So they have to do this uh, data warehousing And then it's a government deregulations uh, Meaning that no restrictions on these bureaucracies I think on these uh, rules has been uh, been dilonggarkan sikit okay, and been loose uh, a bit not loose at all but ada dibagi maybe uh, pelan-pelan cukai ke um, maybe they have uh, initiative on this thing alright and then need to revamp an internal internal process which is revamp like a critical uh, internal process lah dalam you punya company tu so you need to do something uh, to make sure that you can fully utilize your data to the max okay and the last one is imperative for customized marketing on this imperative i can say just want to imperative is crucial lah sebenarnya crucial for customized marketing Immediate action was imperative Okay, vitally important lah Untuk change uh, how kita nak come up uh, we, we want to align with Nowadays uh, business punya uh, Marketing strategy and so on Okay Revamp also can uh, Sorry, this one On Revamp ni more on like uh, improve lah sebenarnya Improve on internal uh, process Improve on the form ke structure Or maybe different uh, interface appearance So that it can be better Okay Okay data warehouse expansion um, Earlier data warehouse concentrated on keeping summary data for higher level analysis But now data warehouse being built by different business So now companies have the ability to capture, cleanse, maintain and use the vast amount of data generated by their business transaction So I think not limit to this um, big big company only uh, for this data warehouse Even the small company can uh, 
try to gain uh, advantage on this uh, data warehouse uh, function okay, sorry next slide okay uh, vendor solution and the products last time data mark data warehouse and market in a state of flux confused definition uh, proliferation of tools vendor hypes and total lack of standards but nowadays it become more stable and mature new technology OLP etc vendor acquisition vendor mergers product sophistication web enabled solution and support of for large uh, data warehouse in the company okay significant trends okay what must you do to take advantage of the trend in your data warehouse so actually there are several things you have to look on this one this one uh, that I said what are uh, this uh, trend ni kita tengok satu-satu ni banyak ni sampai activate uh, data warehouse ni ok number one is a real time data we, we will go one by one on this one so I have listed on this one ok ada berapa ni 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 ok 14 um, factors lah uh, things that you have to know about this significant trend so I can say that one by one on this uh, subject this subtopic here is about this uh, definition lah mostly how actually what is the real time data warehousing so we go look on this one real time data warehousing is a dynamic proving the most up to date view of business in real time a real time data warehousing get refresh continuously with almost zero latency zero latency ni no delay lah meaning that you can uh, you key you you push the key entry to enter it will automatically store in our data uh, in the database and so on and the real time information delivery increase productivity tremendously by sharing information with more people and so because our database is been uh, used by multiple users so should be the data that are available on that database is up to date and it can be uh, retrieved uh, anytime and anywhere however extraction transformation and integration of data for real-time data warehouse have several challenge okay all right i think we go to the second one this one is multiple data type okay we're done on this one so i want to color sorry uh then we go for the yellow okay tadi sikit ya sebenarnya uh, more on the definition about the real-time data warehousing then uh, we go to the second one the multiple data type okay what is the data type here is about uh, data type okay jenis-jenis uh, data okay you, so you can see here there's an image uh, special uh, regarding to this ge ge geographical uh, things uh, video audio uh, structured text maybe unstructured document maybe numerics all this about the numbers and figures okay um okay oh they give us satu adding unstructured data some vendors are addressing the uh, inclusion of unstructured data especially text and image by treating such multimedia data as just another data type these are defined as part of the relational data and store as binary large object blob okay binary large object to is blob up to 2 gigabyte in size user defined function udf okay are used to define this as user defined types okay macam gambar tu lah because one picture can be represent uh, anything contoh ya you have a maybe this picture lah gambar this girl kan it can be nama perempuan ni ke nama this girl uh, is a siapa stephanie ke maybe noraini <laughs> okay so maybe it can be uh, represent a child maybe uh, represent long uh, ponytail uh, hair girl ke ribbon girl ke apa ke maybe have a color here blur picture ke okay so it can be anything so it's unstructured so not all blob can be stored simply as another relational data type 
So for example, a video clip will require a server supporting delivery of multiple streams of video at a given rate and synchronization with the audio portion. For this purpose, specialized server are being provided. Okay, so for the video um, types of data, it's a different thing because video like we have a uh, several uh, duration of time kan, on that video. So it can be anything on that uh, recording on the content of that video. So we have to need a special server that maybe uh, look on the different perspective what kind of type of video is uh, that video is on is all about okay okay about the multiple data searching unstructured data uh, without the ability to search unstructured data integration of such data is of little value so vendor are now providing new search engine to find the information the user uh, the user needs from unstructured data so they have come up dengan satu solution eh, new search engine eh. so query by image content is an example of search mechanism for image uh, the product allow to pre-index image based on the shapes color and texture so when more than one image fits the search argument the selected image are displayed one after the other like you google something lah uh, contoh you google apa eh hmm you google about UITM UITM as a general uh, too big kan because we have uh, branches of UITM we got the history of UITM apa lagi UITM daripada Sabah, Sarawak Kelantan, Tenggak, Kedah, Terengganu, Melaka and different kind of uh, courses different kind of um, what they call it macam-macam hmm, lah so can be anything so if the text of the search too is uh, fits the uh, search agreement too so it can be uh, the result of the query that this user search uh. okay hopefully you all stay with me I tried my best to explain okay uh, multiple data again it's about the spatial data Okay, as I said that this one is uh, on about the geographical things. Uh, adding special data will will greatly enhance the value of data warehouse, address, street blocks, city quadrants, country, state, and zone are example of special data. Okay, and then some database vendor are providing special uh, extenders to their product using SQL extension to bring special and business data together. Okay, I uh, can see this one much like look on the map last night uh, on the special data and point on the coordinate of the location of specific uh, places. It can be you want to point on the buildings or some part of this office, ke macam tu. Alright. Even nak cari harta karun pun we can use this uh, special data. Contoh lah. What again? Uh, for the playing games can like uh, Pokemon. Last time with Pokemon apa yang hype tu kan Korang search the Pokemon using your mobile phone tu It's about the special data juga Because it line with your uh, real life punya Apa ni? Real life punya geographical area kan Okay I tak sempat main the game tu Because I don't want to be Yelah distracted dengan Sekejap je benda tu hype kan And then Nowadays I think tak ada orang main dah game tu Sekarang ni Most of the student I know They just go for the PUBG If they play the game Or maybe League of Legends Another time Another things Maybe as yes, for the girl Dia akan tengok YouTube TikToks Instagram Tu je lah korang kan So You have to be You have to be Ya yeah, apa ni Try to join yang I cakap tu lah Okay before that I get an email actually Okay this one regarding the UBM 599 But uh, Later lah I tunjukkan No worries Kita focus on this subject only Okay uh, the next one Okay tadi habis on the uh, Multiple data Oh okay multiple data tu got the Adding unstructured or special sekali Okay so we done already on this one Hmm Oh sorry here Data visualization The next one Banyak lagi ni hmm, Okay Okay what is visualization Actually it's about the uh, image sebenarnya So help user The user 
apa dia help user the user to interpret uh, query result quickly and easily uh, major visualization trends uh, including uh, more chat types interactive visualizations visualization of complex and large result or sets so visualization type currently a uh, current visualization of fan now support a large array of chat types like a pie bar chart scatter plots and constellation graph tengok tak yang macam KKM punya what they call it KKM punya uh, covid case tu ok sekejap I open for you nowadays we got this like uh, yes kenapa orang suka tengok uh, this graph kan because it's easy to interpret kan and then ah uh, yes this one they got the timing uh, timeline which is nampak macam cool dia kan so last time okay from March Selangor Selangor KL JH Johor Sabah Sarawak still dalam top 5 lah and then later on if I drag to here okay Sabah ni tengok wow macam race kan kat sini Sarawak maintain kat situ then yeah ok tu letak sikit apa techno music kat sini tuk 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 macam kempat sikit lah kan ok up to 27 nowadays alright we have weh kenapa tak stop ni ok uh, we got woi almost 11,000 cases on Sabah ok please we uh, save everyone Selangor almost 4,000 Sarawak almost 1000 juga kat sini sebenarnya hmm. Okay uh, That's about the data visualization Nak saja nak tunjukkan ke orang Okay Okay advanced visualization, visualization technique uh, com, uh, Consists of this chart manipulation Drill down and advanced interaction And dashboard and scorecard A dashboard is about monitor and measure process Dashboard provide real time information Then what that one user with alert extension condition and scorecard track progress compared to objective display period uh, snapshot of performance view against organization strategy object and target okay this one is more as i said everything that they discuss here on the trend of the data warehousing is more on the uh, definition so you baca you can take note lah all right make a notes simple note on this one Okay, we go to the next one on this data visualization that done. We go to the parallel uh, processing pula. On the parallel processing hardware options, multiple CPU, memorable uh, memory module one or more server nodes and high speed communication links between interconnected nodes. So, parallel processing software implementation software must be capable of performing the following step. I can say uh, parallel processing ni is about the simultaneous uh, processing time lah. You can uh, multiple user can access the same information, can search query, adding, uh, add more data to this uh, database. So we need the computer that have this capability. So another thing is we have to look on this processing software what they must be capable of is it have to be able to analyze a large tasks to identify independent units that can be executed in parallel identify which uh, of the smaller unit must be executed one after another and executing the independent units in parallel and then independent units in the proper sequence and collecting collecting and consolidating the result written by the smaller units So maybe soalan ni ditanya dalam test ke So you have to be uh, ready lah What the processing software capable of Okay uh, this is some example of hardware option Okay mostly dah ada banyak CPU kat sini So ada share memory um, CPU ni maximum can represent a user lah sebenarnya User 1, user 2, user 3, user 4 Okay Then this uh, search to this uh, from this share share this okay okay maybe the query one by one okay and if you have this you can share this kat sini mostly mewakili uh, data warehouse okay so 
So every node ni by this uh, department lah mostly Atau by branches ke pun boleh Okay uh, another one another part on this uh, parallel processing Why it's advantageous when updating parallel processing in data warehouse Because performance improvement for query processing Data loading and index creation I think improvement ni uh, they uh, for the focus on this uh, speed of this uh, query and the scalability allowing the addition of CPU and memory memory module without any changes to the existing application meaning we can upgrade kita punya uh, hardware application atau add more user to can uh, to access the able to access our database uh, fault tolerance to to so that the database would be available even when some of the parallel processor fail meaning that um, it will not interrupt the others punya user lah when one of these uh, PC or CPU uh, is off ataupun offline and a single logical view of database even to uh, even to the data may reset on the disk of multiple node so we can see that the, this data warehouse or database only one on, like a they have only one only okay uh, but actually sebenarnya dia ada dalam uh, multiple nodes uh, resides in this uh, maybe may, maybe several computers lah. because if you go to the server room sebenarnya buka ada satu server je dalam satu uh, server room tu they have a several uh, apa ni server uh, server yang available which is kalau buat satu je satu satu je server dalam server room memang it's not practical kot hmm. I think some of you pernah pergi kot on this TM ke mana lagi eh hmm. look at the server room sebenarnya yang TM in Kuching tu pun tak besar sangat lah ya even dia punya room pun tak tak berapa cool <laughs> ok next one we go to the data warehouse ok sedikit saja lagi I think almost another hmm, 10 plus slide to go ok Tadi about parallel processing, look at the advantages and why the parallel processing. Now we look at the uh, data warehouse appliance. Okay, appliance is designed specifically to take care of the workload of business intelligence. It's integrate uh, hardware, software, storage and database management system into one unified device. For administrator, a data warehouse appliance provides simplicity because of integrated nature. So appliance ni um, I can say What is it? Device lah sebenarnya Data warehouse appliance Appliance device or piece of equipment Are designed to perform specific tasks hmm. I think hardware tools lah uh, But di sini bagi tahu is it integrates hardware, software, storage and DBMS into one unified device so maybe other one computer that can be uh, look on the overall of this uh, database um, or this data warehouse ok hmm. ya, appliance ni macam perkakasan lah, lebih kurang macam tu ok just more on the definition on this one ok we go to the next slide on the query tools ok ni yang paling penting Oh, on this uh, data warehouse ok what they should have in this query tool is a flexible presentation uh, aggregate awareness crossing subject areas meaning that we can yes, query by the student name compared to their uh, academic result compared to their apa lagi, activity co-curriculum and so on and then multiple Heterogeneous sources Ok, itu I punya This is first time I dengar heterogeneous ni Different in kind sebenarnya Ok, maksudnya they can search uh, From different group of uh, Sources lah kat sini Various lah, uh, uh, multiple things Ok And of course the integration and last one is overcoming SQL limitation uh, SQL is, is the 
Systematic query language Systematic ke? Saya <laughs> dah termasuk Dah, dah, dah terlupa-lupa lah SQL Systematic pula Bukanlah structured query language Okay uh, because SQL ni pun ada Some of this uh, Macam mana uh, Sorry sorry uh, They have this Limitation lah on this What they can search sebenarnya So Maybe we can add another tools tu Can enhance this uh, search uh, Query on this SQL Okay that's that on the query tools There's no uh, details explanation on this one But I think they just know on this one I not expect they ask you What is the aggregate awareness On the query tool this, this, on, on, this, on this thing So, so I think the question will be strict to the point lah. What is query tool in this uh, trends of data warehouse? You just bagi flexible presentation, aggregate awareness, crossing subjects, multiple heterogeneous uh, sources, integration, overcoming SQL limitation like that. Because this is about a data warehouse. Okay, next another one is a browser tool. Okay, sikit lagi. Query dah. Banyak ni. Ada 14 kan So On the browser tools Some recent trend In enhancement To browser tools Tools are extensible To allow definition Of any type of Data or informational object okay, Open API Application program interface Are included Several type of browsing function Including navigation Through this hierarchical grouping User able to browse catalog And find information Object of interest And proceed further To launch the appropriate Query tool With the relevant parameter Applying web browsing and search technique to browse through the information catalog. I can say browser tool ni, uh, what can you use uh, on this uh, interface from the web ni lah, kalau tak silap lah. Ataupun browser tool ni, if you open you punya, uh, macam words lah, you got this, ataupun this, apa ni, PowerPoint, uh, Microsoft, you have this, this browser tool lah ni, dekat ribbon, Here sini kan ada macam-macam tools kan You can choose nak centralize Nak view Everything Okay same lah on this uh, kind of thing On this browser tool Okay we go to the next slide On this data fusion Okay fusion ni apa ni uh, Fusion ni bergabung eh? So data fusion is a technology dealing with the merging Of data from this Parrot sources From different sources lah sebenarnya So dia nak guna yang Tempat sikit sini It has wider scope And includes real-time Merging of data From instruments And monitoring system mm. Next on this Data integration Four levels In information system Data integration Benda yang sama Application integration uh, Business process integration User integra uh, interaction integration So ada empat Level data, application, business and user interface Then we go to this analytics Okay, nak habis lah ni Terus color kat sini Analytics Two area of analysis uh, Multidimensional and the predictive analytics On this multidimensional be able to analyze business measurement in many different ways And it's a uh, OLAP Okay OLAP is the um, online analytical processing uh, while this predictive analytic is assist the organization by improving their understand of their customer behavior by optimizing their business process by enabling them to anticipate problem before they arise they arise and by helping them recognize opportunities well ahead of time okay predictively you predict something that can be happens in the future you want to Uh, prevent that things happen okay. uh, While this young Multidimensional uh, analysis ni More on this Analysis of business data um, And the complex calculation lah Because Multi kan Too many things eh. Macam tu lah Okay Okay uh, the last one I think Agent of the technology of Agent of technology the last one ke Nanti macam ada lagi ni Sorry Okay tak copy habis tadi 
Agent of Technology is about the software agent, a program that is capable of performing predefined programmable tasks on behalf of the user. And in Data Warehouse, software agent is uh, used to alert user to predefined business condition. So they, some kind of this uh, alerts notification uh, things are uh, dalam Data Warehouse. Okay, when we look on this Data Warehouse and and ERP, okay, I can see this is another confusing uh, picture on this one. As you can see, option one or option three is the same pictures, man. But they just put another enhanced ERP data warehouse. Yeah, this one option one there are no enhance. So enhance ni they can be a hybrid. And if we added this ERP enterprise resource uh, processing into the custom data warehouse, it can be custom developed data warehouse. Okay, uh, this one it can be both ERP data warehouse. So I don't know why is the difference. Okay. Mm. Alright, I think no need to worry about this one. Okay, data warehouse and knowledge man management. Okay, KM is about knowledge management. Even we got the subtopic here, which is on this uh, knowledge management. We can discuss more on this knowledge management. Okay, uh, I can say that data warehouse is a knowledge repository so that every time this uh, user or anyone uh, yet access to the database they query the uh, search on something of the data they want to retrieve so they get the result okay then they can uh, analyze the result based on the chotora how they visualize the result of the pie chart ke on this bar chart ke so can be look on the trend and so on okay other significant trends uh, is the data warehouse and the crm customer relationship management agile development more like on the ASM 653 on the agile process okay and then the last one is active data warehousing okay they don't discuss any further on this one even if you open the textbook also you cannot we finish the slide first okay I think the last uh, part on this uh, topic 1.3 emergence of standards Okay, in uh, each of this multitude of technologies supporting the data warehouse, numerous vendor and product exist. So the implication is that when building a data warehouse, many choices are available to create an effective uh, solution with the best of breed products. So metadata, two separate bodies are working on the standard for metadata. Okay, uh, satu uh, badan ni uh, is a metadata and then, then we have this OLP. It's an online analytical uh, processing. Council was established in January to uh, 1995. Okay, itu je. Hmm. Okay, kena standard lah to make sure that all this uh, we can use this data from this company. Maybe we join venture with other company. That data from the other company we can uh, retrieve as easily uh, and faster as pos as soon as possible lah. Okay, the data warehouse to the web. Okay, web enable data warehouse. It's about the how the following information useful. It's site statistic, visitor conversion, ad metric, referring partners, link, site navigation, on orders, site navigation, not resulting in orders, pages that session killers, relationship between customer profiles and best customer, worst customer analysis. Okay, I'm not sure also on this web house ni, the web enable configuration. No worries, uh, this one about this uh, definition only. And last one is about this data 2.0. Advantage of data warehouse 2.0 architecture include the ability to hold data at least uh, lowest at the lowest detail. Meaning that so kecil -kecil data on this uh, printian or things about the data has been stored last night. It can be query. Hold data to infinity. Oh, infinity ni. What is it? Not cannot be count ke? Come from the word infinite ni. Mm, greater than assignable quantity. Ah. Okay, and then not cost huge amounts of money. 
and have uh, integrity of data still have online high performance transaction processing and link structured data and unstructured data tightly couple metadata to data warehouse environment and support different kind of processing without sacrificing response time okay this is about these criteria or advantages of this data 2.0 architecture and then we finish on chapter one okay exercise exercise I will post in this uh, our I, I discuss on the course uh, forum so anything you can see on exercise on that things I think I will post past year question about this chapter one so you can try answer that question so uh, later we check is it you give the correct one or not okay uh, thanks for watching hope save you want doing uh, fine so so far <laughs> okay we have another six chapters to go so i think that's all for today video again thanks for watching see you again bye bye